Uh, what you're looking at is I think that there's, there's discrepancies with the models. I don't think impact is going to be as much as they – let me restate that. I don't think impact could be as much as they're making it out to be. Now, what you're looking at here is an AM3K model, 10-meter winds. This is just destructive winds. All the white is tropical storm. The edge of the orange is where you get on the edge of hurricane force. Anything within goes 70 and higher. Okay, tropical storm to the 40s, to 50s, to the 60s. Once you get inside the orange, it goes higher than 70, and this black is 120. I want you to remember this. I'm going to show you a few models. Okay, this one is agreement with the Euro model, which shows that it'll be tropical storm strength when it comes on land. It will take a minute for it to go down, and then it goes away to regular tropical. I'm sorry. It'll be hurricane force strength when it comes on land, and then it's going to go down to tropical storm strength as it moves on uh, the reason why I say this because all morning long we was looking at the models uh, during the live stream and a lot of these models show that impact is more like this a tropical storm and not a hurricane but I do I do wish and hope that all of you stay very safe that's why I want to try my hardest to get the best information I can to you there is some people out there that cannot uh, evacuate okay now this is one of the models I was talking about this is the regular NAM there's all these lines, these spaghetti models that you see, each one of those is a radar. It's a different radar model. Okay, now this is the regular name. Now this one's showing that it starts weakening immediately and goes towards the same area as the Euro and the NAM 3K, but it weakens considerably. Look at that. Right before landfall, it's down to 50s in tropical storms. It's not even going to be a hurricane. That's the discrepancy that I was showing from... Uh, from the model so i figure i had to get that out uh, make sure that you go to the weather channel and you subscribe to both channels updates will be here live stream will be there which i will go back to uh, this afternoon after i've finished taking care of some things i need to with my kids now i'll show you what you're looking at this is sustained winds this is 10 meter uh, winds this is what does all all the damage and all the white is 30s to 40s that you're going to see. I'm showing you this so you can keep it in mind. So I'm not going to show this every time. I'm just going to go through the models, get you the information, and get out. Uh, the tropical storm strength will be this orange ring all the way around. I'm sorry, hurricane strength. And then, it, as you can see, it goes from 70s all the way to 90s on the inside. Now, you will see green pop up. If you see any purple pop up, uh, the purple is getting into the hundreds. And so is the green, but you're not talking way high. Now this model right here, this is the, let me show you right here on the left side so you can see the models. This is a WRF NMM full. Now I showed that two models went westward towards towards uh, Houston Moore. I showed four models went northward. Well, six models went northward. Two went westward. Uh, two that went northward was Euro and NAM 3K. They showed powerful hurricane force winds on landfall. I will show you one of those. And the rest of them, I mean the other four models, show that this weakens down to a tropical storm on impact. So I'm showing it's not going to be the saw blade effect that they are speaking of on everybody. Now you need to know all the data that's out there. On this model, it shows it does not do that northern push right here. It keeps going western towards texas towards houston now still on the edge this is all tropical storm strength winds on the edge but all these impacts that they're telling you about in these warnings are now moving westward if this model takes effect it does show hurricane force strength on the edge as it moves in and as it gets inland it downgrades immediately from 60s down to the 30s and 40s tropical storm winds so that's why i want to show this there's different aspects of what's supposed to be the outcome of this hurricane this one shows powerful yes but immediately downgrades hits hits land uh, hurricane force it sure does but then after that it goes away immediately so there's still gonna be bad hurricane force damage and everything coming from it that you would expect from hurricane force winds or rain happening so god bless you all I wanted to make this as quick and short as i can for you all I hope everybody's safe through this event Make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more updates and make sure you come to Weather Channel Live for the live stream tonight. Show some support. Show some support, man. People are very scared out there. And we both know I can't just leave like that. That's just not how I do. I did bless that stream this morning because that stream definitely needed that. It had a lot of people in there scared. It was, like I said, it was over 5,400 people in there. And we had to leave. 
to come let everybody else know, people. That's what we're about, informing people. So, Psalms 93. Jehovah himself has become king. With eminence he is clothed. Jehovah is clothed. With strength he has he has girded himself. The productive land also becomes a firmly established though that can, so that it cannot be made to totter. Your throne is firmly established from the long ago. You are from time indefinite. The rivers have raised, O Jehovah, the rivers have raised their sound. The rivers have raised their pounding above the sounds of vast waters, the majestic breaking waves of the sea. Jehovah is majestic in the height. Your own reminders have, have provided very trustworthy. Holiness is befitting to your own house, O Jehovah, for length of days. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you be safe through this, this intense time. And hope you see it tonight at the, at the live stream. God bless.